Launched in 2020, bang in the middle of the global pandemic, the Mahindra Thar was one of the most anticipated and successful launches in Indian automotive history. And that's because of what it promised to be, which is a very capable off-roader which would keep up with some of the finest in the world while still being affordable and city-friendly. But four years later, and with the launch of the Jimny and the Gurkha, does it still make sense to buy a new Thar? And should you put your money down on one? Let's find out. Now the looks of the Thar has always been one of the major pulling factors and it's also the reason the owner of this particular Thar went out and bought it. We're going to have a small chat with him later, so stay with us for that. Circular headlights is an essential detail on any body-on-frame off-roader in my personal opinion and this tough black bumper which says Thar in bold text gives it a very bold look at the front. This grille also bears resemblance with the old Mahindra Jeeps of the 80s and the 90s and this hood latch is one of my favourite details, probably my favourite detail on the entire exterior of the car. Under these squared wheel arches with some very chunky cladding sit the 18-inch rims with all-terrain tyres on them. The bonnet to the front fender transition has this incredibly sharp line which looks very cool. This front antenna, although some people may find it very old school, it gives it a tough look and I like that. M-Hawk badge which signifies that this is the diesel model and this massive, massive ORVM with star text. Again, a very cool detail. These exposed door hinges remind me of the Wrangler and I love it. Running boards to get into the interior, which some people will need as this is a pretty tall car. In my personal opinion, this angle is one of the most attractive angles to look at the Thar and it is a beautiful and tough looking off-roader from the back. You get a massive tail-mounted spare wheel so in case you get a rock in your tyre while off-roading, you can just take this off, mount it and continue having some fun. The entire back profile is basically a massive slab. The boot is a two-step opening process. Now this, even though it has the wheel mounted on it, it's not that difficult to open. And if you want more room, you can just open this rear glass. And then you see, you have a fair amount of boot space. Not massive, but you can get some stuff in there for the weekend. From the side, you see that this is the hardtop version, which is also removable, but with a little more effort. You also get a large glass area, which helps with the interior room. And it also contrasts beautifully with the paint shade. Now we are in the interior of the Mahindra Thar, and getting in is a little bit of a trek. But once you are in, you are greeted with some very rugged interiors. Let's start off with these seats, which are part fabric, part leather. And I think they offer the perfect balance between a luxurious interior and an interior that's meant for an off-roader. In terms of support, it's fine, but a, a slightly wider frame would find the side support is lacking. This steering wheel is completely plastic and it's a very no-frills design which is a good thing because while you're off-roading, you don't want to be worrying about getting mud on the wheel and stuff like that. In the center here, let's start off with this 7-inch touchscreen, which while it does get the functions done, I feel four years later now, it could do with an update to a larger unit with some more features. In the middle, you get this carbon fiber finish, which I don't really understand because this is an off-roader and carbon fiber is sports cars. Circular aircon vents with a piano black insert, and this entire section, as you see, is plastic, which is to do with the fact that you can just wipe it down without getting water into the controls. Nice knobs for the aircon controls and for the fan. And my favorite bit is this toggle switches, this row of toggle switches for all your basic functions. You see that the, both the window switches are mounted here in the center. And that's because the doors of the Thar are also removable. So if you take off the doors, you don't want your window switches just lying around there. Now in the center here is what makes the Thar the Thar, which is the four-wheel drive system. So this bigger gear lever that you see is for your main controls like park, drive, reverse, stuff like that. And then this lever on the left is your control for your four-wheel drive, which includes four low and four high. Another off-road centric detail 
is that the interior of the thar is almost completely washable. So after the interior is all mucky, you're wearing gumboots probably and you get home, you don't need to sit there carefully cleaning the interior afraid of getting water. You can literally grab a hose and wash it down. Wonderful detail is this door plaque on the thar which contains the serial number of each and every car. Now I'm in the back seat of the thar and I have to say that this is a very well designed back seat. There are multiple factors to that and let's start off with the basics which is the seating and the space. Now space is good like I'm 5 foot 8 inches in height, headroom is definitely not an issue. The seat back is a little upright but it's fine. Now one thing is you end up a little offset because the rear wheel arch comes into the interior which means that your left foot gets less space and your right foot gets more space. So if you want to stretch out you'll have to sit a little at an angle. Under thigh support is a little on the lesser side but it's pretty good for what you'd expect of a three-door car. Next up is this leather padded armrest along with two cup holders and you open this up and find more space. If you look at the roof of the car, as I said before, it is removable. So the speaker is actually mounted on this fixed frame, which does not get removed if you take the roof panels off. And overall, it is a very roomy interior, which is also helped by this side glass. And you get these very cool and tough looking fabric and rubber grab handles. So here we are with the owner of this particular thar. And let's see uh, his answers to a few questions. So firstly, uh, why did you go for the thar? Because I like this uh, sporty look and uh, I t uh, when I tried this, tested it, uh, test drive, it was the pickup and everything was too good. Yes. So this also happens to be the second thar in your family. So is there uh, any particular reason for that? And do you think you will keep this for a very long time or maybe just for a year or two? Yeah, I think so. Okay. What's the mileage like on this? This uh, is the diesel version. Diesel so in, in your usage, what's the mileage like? Gives me around 12, per kilom uh, 12 kilometers per liter. How is your service experience so like at the dealership? For servicing, there were no issues. They did a good job and I was happy with them. So there are also a few changes the owner has made on this car. Let's hear about that. Like this car doesn't come with reverse camera, uh, which is a must. Second thing, uh, the armrest on the back seat. Uh, also doesn't come with armrest, you have to fix the armrest. So, uh, thirdly, the, la uh, the headlight and the fog light, uh, the bulbs are not that powerful for off-roading at night. So you need to replace them with LED, powerful LED lights. Uh, and uh, these are the basic things, changes required. So that was some very insightful thoughts. And thank you so much for letting us film your car today on this very rainy day. And it's a wonderful experience. Thank you so much. The price of the thar ranges from 10.54 to 17.6 lakh rupees ex showroom India. And this particular model comes in at about 20 lakh rupees on road here in Goa. You have a variety of engine and gearbox options to choose from when you're buying the new thar. The first one is a 1.5 litre turbo diesel which produces 115 horsepower but it's only available with the rear wheel drive models. With the four wheel drive, you have the 2 litre turbo petrol, which produces 150 horsepower, and a 2.2 litre turbo diesel, which produces 130 horsepower. Both these engines are available with a 6 speed manual and a 6 speed torque converter automatic gearbox. My final verdict. So let us answer the question we asked at the start. Four years later, does it still make sense to go for the Thar? The short answer to that is absolutely yes. And that's because the only rival to it is the Jimny and the Gurkha. And this, the Thar would still be my personal pick because it has the best engine and gearbox options, the best road presence, and also the nicest interiors of the three. So if you're looking for a budget-friendly off-roader that also happens to be your second or your third car, the Thar is definitely one of your best options.